All right, so hello one and all, welcome back to another FNAF teaser video, and I am so excited to say that once again because it has been so long. So I do apologize for my hair being all messed up. Look, I just had a shower because I just woke up and I just found out that there is a new teaser on FNAFworld.com. So someone asked him a few months ago what the source codes can mean, and then Scott replies with, I actually don't plan on updating sites and have it in over four months other than updating copyright dates. They are dead sites now, but if you notice, it was uploaded on April 1st, which is something that I did not even notice. So he was lying to us this whole time, but anyways, let's get to this. So this, what we see on the website, appears to be a pair of baby's eyes. So before we get into actually analyzing the image, let's see if there is anything to brighten up and see. But as you can see, there isn't, so this is all what there is. So uh, now let's actually analyze the image for its whole. So we know that it's baby's eyes because the four eyelashes and then the green eyes, uh, those are kind of signature to baby. The only thing that's different is that, as you can see around the eyes, it looks broken. There's a big chunk in the uh, her right eye or our left side. There's a big chunk broken off. Uh, and on the other side, it looks uh, like the paint has been scratched off. Uh, little chips here and there. But this reminds me a lot of FNAF 3. If you notice, the photo saves as I am still here. Very similar to the introduction of Springtrap. It says I am still here beside him. So, I'm wondering if these two have anything to do with each other in the next game coming out. FNAF Sister Location 2, I would assume, or he could be, Scott could be throwing a curveball and saying something different. So, I will be going to scottgames.com in a minute, but I want to visit the source code for a little bit. So, if you noticed, there has been a conversation on scottgames.com along with FNAF World, talking to each other. So, I copy this text word for word, letter for letter, uh, grammar for grammar. So this appears to be Ennard talking with Baby. Baby being on FNAFworld.com and Ennard being on ScottGames.com and I'll explain why in a minute. So the conversation starts with Ennard. You are crowding us. Be quiet. You can't tell us. So the conversation starts with Ennard. You are crowding us. Be quiet. You can't tell us what to do anymore. Yes, I can. You will do everything that tell to do. We outnumber you. That doesn't matter, dummy. We found a way to eject you. You would be nothing. You would be lost without me. Haha, <laughs> say goodbye to our friend. So as you can notice, there were a couple uh, things to hear about that that were odd and a couple things that visually look odd. So, let's go from the top to the bottom of the text. Ennard says, you are crowding us. Seems normal. Be quiet. Normal again. So, it says <clears throat> you with quotation marks around it. So, I would assume that is uh, the source code's version or a, a way to kind of make it seem like it's italicized because that makes the word emphasized. Uh, so, you can't tell us what to do anymore. So, he's emphasizing you specifically. So, does that mean that someone else can tell them what to do, or Ennard himself can tell the others what to do? Um, that's kind of what I'm getting from that. And the baby says, yes, I can. So, yes is an important um, uh, word there, because she will probably force them into doing stuff for her. But then, uh, when I was typing this line out, yes I can, you will do everything I tell to do, I was thinking, Scott never messes up on his grammar, and then I saw I was not capitalized. You can even go into the source code of InFNAF World, uh, open up the head uh, section, and you will be able to find this exact text. Though, except for the color, I do have to say, uh, at, when Ennard says, you can't tell us what to do anymore, the can't tell us what to do anymore is in yellow. And same with, I can, you will do everything that tell to do. That is also in yellow. Everything else is in blue. But anyways, you is not capitalized. We'll do everything that tell to do. I'm not too sure why it's messed up so much in that sentence. Either she's getting ejected there and she's rushing or something, or Scott made an error, or she's a kid and doesn't type well, you know? But anyways, we outnumber you, that doesn't matter, dummy, we found a way to eject you, you would be lost without me without a period, 
and then haha say goodbye to her friend so pretty much baby is not allowed in the herd anymore she'll be uh, kicked out of the tribe so anyways baby is out for revenge because these eyes look like that they are hating someone or something maybe it could be you as the player or energy's mess of a thing but either way, I don't think that she is alone in this fight because there are other people who are out for revenge. And the person who I'm thinking is Springtrap. But anyways, that is enough for the FNAFworld.com. Let's move over to ScottGames.com, which has quite a bit of information. So there's a pretty scary looking image of Freddy right there. And if you save the image, it is called Twisted Freddy. So these are the new rounds of Twisted Animatronics that will be featured in the Twisted Ones, uh, the new book that Scott will be releasing. So you can see that he's very bubbly. It looks like that he's being melted or something, and then he's coming back for revenge. There's a lot of revenge in this episode. Um, but yeah, there's not too much to talk about this Freddy image in specific. If you brighten up the image, you can see that there's a 348002 and a 208476 in uh, the background. And um, when I say oh, I mean a zero. Uh, but if you um, go to scottgames.com slash twisted underscore freddy.jpg, you will find this image. But if you replace Freddy with one of those two number codes, then you will find these two images. So if you type in 348002, you will get this image of Bonnie. So this looks quite messed up, if I can say. Um, his ears are all ripped up and melted looking. You can see his spine, endoskeleton, the claws are all curly, there's two rows of teeth and they're fleshy. Everything about this is just, there's spikes on his shoulders. It looks like it's plastic, like melted plastic, or it's flesh, which I don't want to see any of them. But Lady Fish, it, it appears to be the signature. <sighs> Good job. You made some scary ass shit. But um, anyways, this is not even the most important news for us today because if you replace it with 208476, uh, then you will get this image. And this is a uh, pretty badass looking fox dude. Wolf, sorry. We can't get rid of Foxy. So there's something to notice about this wolf. The left half of him, from our perspective, is a real wolf. But then the right half of him is an animatronic. Because if you look at the hands, the one on our right side is all uh, sectioned out. But then on the left side, it's real. Uh, and there's some digital cut in the middle of him. Because his, uh, his right eye, or our left pers perspective eye, it's all closed in and it's uh, in a nice little tight socket, but then the other one is all popped out. And it's just if you notice, everything is different um, uh, splitting the sides. And um, I haven't read the first book, but apparently there is a mention of a uh, fox or, or a wolf animatronic. Uh, I keep on saying fox. Both of these twisted uh, animatronics both have human-like characteristics, but also animatronic-like characteristics, because with Bonnie, he had the uh, the eyes were uh, animatronic, the endoskeleton, but then the mouth and claws and uh, that and the fleshy looking material looked all human. And then there's Freddy who just looked like a, a bear animatronic. On But that is it for uh, all the information of Scott Games and FNAFworld.com. But uh, what are you most hyped for, the new game coming out or the new book? Or do you just want the series to be thrown in the pits of hell where Freddy is coming out of? Tell me your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>